Once upon a time in the quiet village of Everwood lived a curious little girl named Luna. Luna had a head full of dreams and a heart full of adventure. She loved exploring the lush forests that surrounded her village, but there was one place she had never dared to go, the heart of the enchanted forest. One sunny morning, Luna decided it was time to discover the secrets of the enchanted forest. She packed her backpack with some snacks, a flashlight, and her favorite book of fairy tales, and set off on her adventure. As she ventured deeper into the forest, the trees seemed to whisper and the leaves seemed to dance. After walking for what felt like hours, Luna stumbled upon a massive tree with a trunk so wide it would take ten people holding hands to circle it. The tree sparkled as if it were covered in tiny diamonds and its branches stretched high into the sky. Luna knew this had to be the legendary magic tree that her grandmother had often told her about. With a mixture of excitement and nervousness, Luna approached the tree. She noticed a small, carved door at its base. Gathering her courage, she gently knocked on the door. To her surprise, it slowly creaked open, revealing a spiral staircase leading down into the earth. Curiosity getting the better of her, Luna descended the staircase. At the bottom, she found herself in a magnificent underground chamber illuminated by glowing crystals. In the center of the chamber stood a kind-looking old woman with a crown of flowers and a cloak made of leaves. Welcome, Luna, the old woman said with a warm smile. I am Flora, the guardian of the magic tree. I have been watching you for a long time and I know you have a brave and kind heart. Luna was amazed. How do you know my name? She asked. Flora chuckled softly. This forest is magical, my dear. It sees and knows all who enter. You have come at a special time. The magic tree needs your help. Luna listened intently as Flora explained that the magic tree's light was fading because the golden fireflies, which kept the tree alive, had gone missing. Without them, the tree would wither and the forest would lose its magic. Determined to help, Luna asked what she could do. Flora handed her a small, silver lantern. This lantern will guide you to the golden fireflies. You must find them and bring them back before the next full moon. Luna accepted the lantern and promised to return with the fireflies. She embarked on her quest, traveling through the forest, across sparkling streams and up misty mountains. Along the way, she encountered talking animals, helpful fairies, and even a friendly dragon who offered her a ride. After many days of searching, Luna finally found the golden fireflies trapped in a cave guarded by a grumpy old troll. Using her wit and kindness, Luna persuaded the troll to release the fireflies promising to bring him some of her grandmother's delicious cookies in return. With the golden fireflies safely in her lantern, Luna hurried back to the magic tree. Flora greeted her with tears of joy and together they released the fireflies into the tree. The tree began to glow brighter and brighter until it shone like the sun, restoring the magic to the forest. The villagers of Everwood celebrated Luna's bravery and the return of the forest's magic. Luna had proven that even the smallest person could make a big difference with a brave heart and a kind spirit. And from that day on, Luna and the magic tree shared many more adventures, their bond growing stronger with each passing season. The End <laughs>